Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Janae. I am a fifth year, can you believe it? Um, primary teacher from Chicago. And I just say primary because I spent those five years in different grades. So I taught second grade for three years, and then this will be my second year in kindergarten. And this year I will be self-contained. So I'm super excited about that. Um, yeah, we were switching classes last year. It was very hectic. Um, Five-year-olds do not need to be switching classes. So I'm excited to be self-contained this year. I'll be teaching all the subjects, so math, reading, writing, social studies, science, and I'm excited about that because I, lo I love all the subjects. I just love teaching. And so today is um, day five of classroom setup. So I'm mostly set up. There was just a lot to do this year and me trying to record all, during all that, it would have just taken up so much time. I spent most of my time kind of just sitting here and like staring at the mess. And then like, I was working so slowly, I just, I didn't want to record. But I'm in here today, Saturday, uh, our assistant principal opened up the building for us. So I'm in here just to do some last minute touches, set up a few bulletin boards, clean up my desk area, and then that'll be pretty much it, set up uh, my objectives board. So not much today, but I'm gonna show you what I do today. And then also um, just like give you guys a tour and show you some ideas of what I have planned for the school year. Um, but before we get started, really quickly, I wanted to just mention um, this video was sponsored by Ana Luisa Jewelry. And if you guys haven't noticed, but in most of my videos, I'm always wearing their pieces, like this bracelet that I have on, which is actually new. Um, it's from them, my necklace, and then these earrings are from them, and this ring. So all of my pieces are from Ana Luisa, and um, the reason why I like them so much is because they are affordable. So their pieces start at like $40 and they are tarnish resistant. So I've owned this necklace and this, this earring right here. The first one is like a um, hoop with little diamonds in it. I've owned these for, I'm going to say... I'm gonna say at least the earrings, I've had them for about a year now. And they are holding up. Like these are my favorite earrings. I wear them every single day. No tarnishing, no problems for a year straight. This necklace I've had for like a few months now. Um, and this ring as well. Um, so I have a lot of pieces from them that I've had for like at least a year, I'm gonna say. And they have not tarnished. They're still beautiful. I still wear them every day. And yeah, so. Definitely check out Ana Luisa if you're interested in some jewelry for the back to school season. I have a um, discount code in my description box below for 20% off. So go ahead and head over to analuisa.com and check them out. All right, guys, let's get into this last day setup. you guys so did a lot it's time for lunch i'm gonna take a quick break but so far i'm just gonna talk you through like what i did i still got a little bit of work to do um my phone's about to die so hopefully i can get that on camera for you and then give you guys a quick tour so let's take a look at what i started with so here's my math bulletin and it's just like an anchor bulletin for students to reference their numbers one through ten along with their um shapes 
And then what else did I do? If we come over here, as you guys saw, I was working on the cutouts for my objectives board. And I just use um, Google Slides to make those and get that in there. I mean, the schedule's not finalized, but this is pretty much how it'll be. And I just put, this is white cardstock, and I just put magnetic tape on the back. So, objectives board. So it's gonna have the subject, the time, the agenda, and the standard. Um, what else did I do? Oh, you guys saw I did the bulletin outside. And that's literally all I did for now. Really, that bulletin outside took a lot of my time just cutting out the paper and doing that. That, that bulletin took about, a, about an hour and a half, probably two hours. I don't know how long I was working on it. But I'm going to eat me some lunch. Got some Chipotle. Got to scan my points. I'm going to eat lunch. And then I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to tackle this wall. So... I know last year this was my prized possession, but after doing more research over the summer, I feel like every summer or every year, I learn more about like the topic that I'm passionate about. And so um, I'm gonna be using something in my classroom called, which you guys probably heard of because other teachers have been using it. It's called Secret Stories. And it's just a really fun and engaging and effective way to teach younger kids phonic skills and not just phonic skills, in a certain scope and sequence, but like kind of giving them access to the whole code and not holding things back from them. You know, it's just a really great program. I stand firmly behind it. The founder of it can explain it better than I can, like her scientific research and reasons behind it. And it just, it makes sense. It's about using the back door of the brain, the social emotional part of the brain to get students to recall and retrieve and retain information complex information instead of using the front processing part of the brain that might that's not fully developed yet in kids this young so it just makes so much sense you should research it but i saw a lot of teachers on youtube i saw one teacher miss calls campers i saw her using it and then after she mentioned it i went to go research it like from the founder and then i started like binge watching all of the founders or the creators videos on it and i just firmly stand behind behind it and as i've been like watching other teachers set up videos i've been seeing the posters in their classroom so i'm like okay so i got a project funded on donors choose for the secret stories so i'm just waiting for that to come in i'm going to rearrange this wall i'm going to leave some of the consonants up but as far as like the vowels and the digraphs and the um the r controlled stuff i'm going to take those down and i'm going to replace it with the secret stories posters so i just need to rearrange this whole board which i'll do that but i can't even finish it until my secret stories posters arrive so this won't be done until later and it doesn't need to be so i'm going to eat lunch and then i will check back in with you guys after i do this board two percent so i'm about to give y'all this tour real fast i'm gonna start out in the front by my door So when you first come in, I have a um, clipboard for sign outs. I'm going to keep my sign out sheets here because I need one for every day. So I'm going to make like 100 and just keep them in here so I can grab and go. This board is blank because I'm still deciding what I want to do. Vocabulary words or class jobs. So this year I decided to teach from this angle last year. I had it over here, but I would have to constantly move it because it would be blocking the view of like the students who sit here and here. And you know, it just was blocking this view right here. So I wanted this to be clear and open just because I have those beautiful new uh, 
seat stools and I just want them to be seen. So I decided to uh, push this over here. Plus it can fit like right in that little tuck away area. It's not too much of a problem and I'll just sit here. And of course, whenever I'm teaching, I'll pull the board out more. So I might like pull it out to like here, right? So it can like be closer to the kids and they'll face me this way. And then of course they'll also face the screen. Here is my objectives board, our clip chart or our behavior chart. Here's where I'm gonna keep. So here's some flexible seating options that I'll let the kids choose from with some lap desks and cushions. Some This is flexible seating as well. They're just floor mats in all different colors. This is where kids drop their lunches off in the morning. This is where I'm gonna keep clipboards. This is my area where I sit and teach from. This is my incentives wall. So um, this says attendance, obviously. <laughs> and so um, I'm gonna take the stars down. I just have them up because I want the students to see how it looks. But each day that we have 100% attendance, we'll earn a star under one of the letters. And then when we get 10 stars, we'll have a pizza party. This resource I got off of Teachers Pay Teachers. I'll link it below. Um, it's a They have a bunch of different like characters like this, but basically it's an incentives thing. And it says, let's work together to build a dinosaur. Our behavior goal is, and I'll have to get that up there. And then we are working for, and I have to get that up there too. It comes with like the little cards for this. And so we're trying to build a dinosaur and this is how it should look. And here are the little pieces. So as students are meeting whatever our behavior goal is, I'll just add little pieces to our dinosaur. I know they're gonna love this. That's why I bought it. And it comes with so many different like um, images. So I'll definitely link that below. Here's my desk. I'm gonna keep some equity sticks here, which I'm gonna make once I'm finished recording this. Some dry erase, our read aloud books, any books that I'll be using for lessons, other stuff that I need. I got my printer right there. I'm gonna keep copies that I need for each subject here. Um, those are some binder things. So in my drawer, I have some things that I need at easy reach. So our I words, our stars, for the attendance thing, some pencils, some Mr. Sketch markers, our uh, sounds clip thing. Again, these are like pocket charts from Lakeshore that I haven't decided where I wanna use them yet, so I'll just keep them there. Let's see what else I got in here. This is my area. I got some smell good stuff, some tape, some magnetic tape. I keep my own fidget spinners because I'm kind of like one of those kids that needs to like, <laughs> fidget like I can pay attention and fidget and that's definitely me so I these are literally mine and I play with them throughout the day um and some more stuff that I need oh our money because I'm going to be doing a class bank this year so students will be able to earn mall money when I see them behaving well whether it be in the hallway or whatever they can get like a dollar and my poster board has not come yet but I'm going to use these library pockets and I'm gonna like tape everyone's poke because they have stickies on the back. So everybody's, um, this is gonna be their wallet. They're gonna have a wallet. It's gonna be all up here in rows. And as they earn money, at the end of the day, I'll collect their money and put it in their wallet. In my area where I keep my stuff, my teacher toolbox, clipboards, my flowers, my small group materials. I'm gonna keep it real simple with small group this year. I'm just gonna keep like whatever dry erase pockets we're using, like our whiteboards, real simple. Some supplies for beginning of the year, small group stuff. Books, here's some um, easy access stuff for the kids that they can play with. So we got pattern, jewels, magnet tiles. They love these little um like imprint things for the play-doh these sort fine motor sorting things cash register our geo boards over here is where i've sorted the crayons i'm going to change all these labels so that they can match like whatever crayon so this is blue and i have more crayons to add green it's looking a little skimpy right now but definitely have more crayons to add there and just easy access stuff for the kids Paper, glue sticks scissors and again i'm going to change all those labels 
We got some more stuff here, Play-Doh. Here's another area where the kids can play. And I'm like hiding junk behind there. Over here. This is where I'm gonna keep my table points in perfect view of everyone. I also got these new bins from Lakeshore. Our school, um, they had someone, a representative come out to us last year and like make us, they told us to create a wish list. And I just put a bunch of, that's why I have all this new stuff, all these new bins, a new rug, like all this is from Lakeshore. I don't, like, I guess we just had extra funding, but it was truly a blessing. All right, continuing on. Um, got a bunch of storage under there. I might put like a tablecloth or something to hide it. Those bins are from Lakeshore, the blue and green. There's my math wall, writing. All my anchor charts are blank because I'm gonna fill them in as the students come in. I'm gonna keep dull and sharp pencils back here by the writing anchor chart and also writing paper for when we do our writing lessons. Over here is my little library take a break area. This couch is new, it's from Lakeshore for free. They gave it to us. Um, and then there's my old couch from last year and I got some books and stuff over here. Our Chrome carts, you see these bins, they actually match the colors that are at the tables. So they came as a set and I did that because um, I wanted to have a more organized way of students getting their headphones and iPads. So I'm gonna have like four students at each table. And so there'll be four iPads in each of the um, trays as well, along with their headphones. They fit in there, I tested it out. And so then the table captains will just come and get their bins and take it to their table when it's time for iPads. Here again, I have my under, counter seating the kids love that and then my sound wall i changed it up a lot so as you can see i only have the alphabet up there just because of how i'm going to be teaching things this year with the secret stories there's a certain way that the alphabet is taught and i plan on doing that it's they're going to learn their sounds even quicker with this new way and then with all this extra space i'm going to um, post my secret stories posters so the posters are pretty large so i'm just going to keep them all under here so that should work out fine and the posters are pretty colors they're like pink and green and they kind of match the theme of the classroom so i can't wait till those come in so i can show you guys and then down here is where i'm going to keep anchor charts i have um some our science curriculum kits back there hidden behind this so that's a nice spot for it and then again it says anchor our learning at the top and then i just have some math manipulatives down here. All this was funded from Donors Choose. I'm sorry, not Donors Choose, from Lakeshore. Well, some of it was Donors Choose, most of it was Lakeshore. Um, I put this stuff on my wish list last year because I knew that I would be teaching uh, math. I did not want these centimeter cubes. I thought I was getting the regular linking cube size, but I guess I accidentally ordered these. These are too small for kindergartners, so I will not be using those. And I got some extra supplies down here, some big books, just some extra stuff that I don't, that I just need out the way. Like those are the second grade common course state standards. I don't use those anymore, but of course I don't want to throw them away. Who knows? I might teach second again someday. I got my copy paper under there, some privacy folders. These are brand new. As you can see, the plastic's still on them, funded from Lakeshore, my dustpan, and just some more things back there. I'm going to keep, oh, I'm going to keep cleaning supplies and things back there. And that is it. Again, I'll give you another overview. All right, you guys, I am making copies for next week. As you guys can hear and see, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check the description box below for my discount code for Ana Luisa and all other links to things that I mentioned during this video. And be sure to stay tuned for the rest of the year. Bye guys.